welcome back to the Echo Wizard channel everyone, I'm the Mac Mage. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new Echo TV Guide. That's right, TDB Wizard is out and Echo is in. And now the TV Guide is ready for installation so I'm going to walk you through how to do that. Go to Programs, locate the Echo Wizard, go into the Echo Add-on Installer, in here you will find it at the bottom row of the first page so go ahead and click in there and it will ask if you want to install it for me it's asking if i want to uninstall it so i'm just going to click escape so make sure you click yes to install the new echo tv guide now when you install this this should also give you f4m tester and sports devil which you're going to need to make this the absolute best experience possible. Once that's done, just go out into your main programs menu and you will see it right beside the Echo Wizard. So now let's take a look inside the configuration settings so I can show you how to set this up. Alright, so press C to open the context menu. You can also press menu on your remote or long hold. And then you're going to want to go down to Echo TV Guide Settings, click enter or press OK. Alright, so um, I'm going to be talking about the things that are the most pertinent to your TV Guide experience. So here is pretty much in the sources where you're going to reset everything. So if I tell you guys, um, Echo's recommending you guys set, reset to everything, that's where you will do it from. And then also in here, there is the XML file types. So you have your standard guide, you have your UK guide, your US guide which also has um, Canadian content in there as well. Then you have the US TV Now guide, sports guide, music guide, custom XML, and the Asian guide as well. So select which one you would like to use. I'm just going to go with the standard guide. You'll hear that little clicking noise that lets you know that everything is now being installed. So that's pretty much all you need to do in that. And then if you come down here to the file download interval, this starts at 24 hours, goes to 48 hours, every start, every four days, and then back to every 24 hours. That's just going to be when you would like the EPG to reset all the data, just to make sure that you have um, all of the latest content. Now down here at the bottom, you can download skins and you can also choose a skin. So that way you can give your TV guide a different look. So let's go over to maintenance. Now if you scroll down, um, the first thing I wanted to draw your attention to is the fact that you can actually clean your Kodi right from the guide. So this is um, where you can maintain your Kodi system. Just click in there and you can clear your cache, purge packages, delete thumbnails, all that stuff to keep your video running nice and smooth. Over here in the startup, you can set it up to open when Kodi starts up and that way you can just have that load right into the guide. You don't have to go through programs or anything like that to set it up, um, to have it start up. So that's pretty much all you need to know in here. And finally, here we are in the add-on section. So of course it always starts out with your paid add-ons. So these are services like Stalker TV that you can pay for um, to get IPTV from. Then down here, it's got your free and stable links. And all you have to do is click and install it. And if the repository has it, it will install. Um, otherwise, you can just download the developer's repository and install it for yourself. And then if we go down here, there's special add-ons. And finally, then you have just the free add-ons that are not considered stable. Um, so like your YouTube, your Zem, Zem TV, um, stuff like that. So uh, it's really up to you which add-ons you guys use. In many cases, you can simply click to install an add-on and it will be installed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual TV guide. So here we are inside the new Echo TV guide. So a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. First of all, all streams used in this TV guide are third-party streams which Echo has no control over. So if something goes down or if you're unable to um, view a stream, that's not something that we can control. The other thing is, is that as far as adding streams to the guide or adding add-ons to the guide, that cannot be done without developer permission first. A couple of other things I wanted to get to. Um, for the last TV guide, you guys were asking me on my channel about super favorites and integrating that with the guide. Now I am going to cover that as well. 
The first thing I wanted to show you is that if you come to a channel and you click enter and you get this context menu, this means that you do not have an add-on that supports this channel. And in this case, you can choose a stream or you can also choose a super favorite. So um, in this case, I'm going to show you choosing a stream. So when you choose a stream, you can either choose um, your favorites or you can choose add-ons that are working with the Echo TV Guide. And then once you figure out which add-on you want to use, check your stream and find out which stream you want to use. You can also preview your stream. So that's one way to do it. Um, the other thing, like I said again, you can also use um, Super Favorites. So just click over to your Super Favorites and choose the channel that you would like. So let's just say for this example, I'll choose this first one. And I think the value, the value of that to me. And then you can just go back to the TV guide by pressing escape. Otherwise, just choose your streams as normal. So the last thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the context menu up here. So there's a ton of things that you can do. So let's go ahead and run through some of them. So categories will bring up your different uh, XML file types. So if you want to change your file type, you can do it right from here. And then just give it a minute to load everything up. And then over here you have reminders, so you can set different reminders for the shows that you like to see. Um, and it will pop up on your Kodi uh, to let you know that the show that you want is on. And so if you set a reminder for one show, it will set it for all of those shows. So like if you like um, Simpsons or South Park or whatever, you can send a reminder and every time that South Park is on, it will let you know. Choose streams, we already talked about. It'll allow you to choose streams from files, favorites, and of course the reposit the add-ons working with the guide. Um, you can also choose super favorites here, but I'd like to choose it from the screen. So. The other thing you can do from here is if you go over to channels, you can actually change the order of the channels in which they are displayed. If I wanted to move BBC One, I would just write arrow and it will let me reorder where I want the channel to go if I want to move it up or down or what have you so that you can put your favorite channels first and then just to get out of there press C to uh, get out of that and go back to the context menu and then here at the end we have settings and that will take you into all the stuff that we talked about earlier so um, you can just go into maintenance and clean up your Kodi and do whatever else you need to do so that is Echo TV Guide. Hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please remember to like and share with your friends. Also, please remember to subscribe to the Echo Wizard YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all the latest in Echo Wizard news. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.